James Helder with the Cassis and Helder Show here on Box Nation. With me, I've got the WBO middleweight champion, Andy Lee. First and foremost, how are you doing, mate? Good, yeah. Good. All the better for being on. Thank you for giving us guys. a bit of your time, I've got to say. It's always a pleasure to catch up with you. Um, what's been happening? Everything all right? Everything's good. Training hard and um, getting ready for the fight. Mm -hmm. Good press conference today and everyone spoke well, respectful. Mm -hmm. And excitement is building for the fight at home and here. And, um, I can't wait to get over there and, you know, fight week I'm really looking forward to. It, yeah. Facing mandatory challenger Billy Joe Saunders in Limerick. How, how highly do you rate Billy Joe Saunders, Andy? He's there um, on merit. He's number one contender on merit. He's beaten Eubank Jr., he's beaten Ryder, he's beaten Blackwell, and all other guys in between, you know. So he's there by merit. He's a genuine contender. So I have to take him, you know, take him serious as, as, as you would, you know. And, um, Believe me, I'm leaving no stone unturned. I'm doing everything I can in training. Adam Booth's got the plan, and I'm ready to implement it. How do you think he compares in terms of opponent levels of Jackson, McVay, Corabob, to, to Peter Quillen? How do you think he, he compares to them guys? He's up there. They're all, they're, I would say they're all on the same level. Um, I've been fighting at a high level, you know, especially the last year. Um, Jackson undefeated, number four in the world. Carbell number one in the world, undefeated. Peter Quillen undefeated, number one in the world. And I've come through all those fights. Now I'm fighting Billy Joe Saunders, undefeated, number one in the world. And um, this is nothing new to me. I've seen it all before. Um, but for him, it is something new. And that, that could be the difference in the fight. Um, but it will be. It's going to be a good fight. There's a lot of, a lot of subclasses, a lot on the line. Pride, a lot of pride at stake. And um, neither was going to want to lose. When you beat Matt Bay Korobov, I brought up in the press conference after that he was the first travelling man to win a world title. Some of the Americans looked at me like I didn't have a clue what I was talking about. I just want to validate that like, I was actually right. Yeah, um, you're right. I yes. was actually I right. I think so, yeah. I don't know. Matthew Hilton uh, in Canada, I think he might have won a lesser title, maybe like a WBU mm -hmm. or something. Um, but uh, look, travellers have got a long tradition with boxing. But. Um, usually, life outside of boxing takes them away, especially when they get to the age of 18, 19, when they start driving and they have to go out and earn a, earn a living, they get married. But nowadays, there's a new generation coming through. Tyson Fury, myself, Billy Joe, we're the ones leading the way. And there's younger kids, like this young kid here. Come on, Chrissy. This undefeated cousin of mine, Christy, he'll be the next champ. And there's a generation, there's loads of fighters like them coming through. and. They're going to be training with the dedication. Like one thing, you no, know, traveling boys get to a certain level where they're winning all the ABAs, they're winning all the all islands, they're winning everything, internationals, and then they then they get married and they walk away. But nowadays, they can see there's a career in it and they see there's a life in it, and they're going to go on beyond what anything I've done. I mean, there's so many subplots to this fight. There's the both of you being Olympians. Mm -hmm. There's both of you being travellers. There's so many little twists and turns in this fight. It makes got, it so interesting. Yeah, and you got Adam Booth and the Tibbs. Who are, uh, you know, it's probably the two best, I would say, the two best coaches, coaching teams in, in the game. It's one, uh, um, Jimmy Tibbs, knowledgeable, probably forgot more about boxing than most people ever know. And um, the old school, and really, you know, just knows fight, it's in his blood. And you got Adam, who's very deliberate, very concise, the new wave, almost, you know, the science of boxing. And, uh, so it all makes for an excellent fight. When you ask Adam Booth a question, does he answer it with a question? Or does he just do that to me and Cody? <laughs> I think he does it to Cody on the last hour. But he doesn't just like it. When are you going to fight a real, real traveller, Andy? And try and take this belt off me. When are you going to fight a real man? I'm sorry, Andy. I can a only real man. Listen. Forget Billy Joe Saunders. What do you find a real traveling man like me? <laughs> Put the money up. I'm from Mimerick, which is near Limerick. <laughs> he was in Limerick last week and he was saying, Oh, I'm uh, happy to be in Mimerick, Mimerick. I had to correct him. Take a look at it, Andy. It's the last time you'll see this bloody belt. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is, that is that an Irish or a pirate Andy, accent? Andy, I'm so sorry. Now you see what I have to deal with on a day to day basis. Honestly, the man's like a big 12 year old. Um, closing thoughts. Fantastic, fantastic for Limerick to have this here. So you, we can now see the, hopefully the exhibition of Katty Taylor being on the card. Mm. It, it all adds to a big, super event, doesn't it? It will be a special event. Um, as I said, I fought all over the world and it's a chance to come home and to show the people of Limerick and Ireland uh, my gratitude for all the support they've given me. And we've got a real fight. 
um, genuine middleweight title fight that if it was anywhere in the world would be watched by thousands of people. So um, yeah, come on, get there. If you can't get there, watch Unbox Nation and uh, it's going to be a good night. How confident are you of keeping your WBO crown? I'm 100%. I can't see any way I lose the fight. I can't see. Anyway, I can't lose on points. I can't get knocked out. I'm just um, adamant I'm going to win. How I win is the question, not if I win. Any predictions on how you will win? No. I think, I know I have the punch. And I, 12 rounds is a long time to go in the ring with me. And if I land the right punch at the right time, I can knock, it. I'll knock him out. But I'll have to beat him. I have to, I have to aim to box him. I can't go out there looking for the punch. If I do that, he'll beat me. So my game is to go out there and box him. And um, it will be a hard fight. I know that he's coming undefeated. A lot of highly skilled, competitive fella. It's going to take a lot of beating, but I'm re ready to do it. All right, well, listen, can't wait to see two traveling men contesting a world title. It's a fantastic fight. And uh, thank you for giving us a bit of your time today. Thanks, I Cheers, James.